Okay, welcome everyone, we're back in Europe. So, we were in Lithuania, I believe. So we have four more contracts to deliver for what was a Christmas event, but <laughs> we're just going to think of it as a New Year's event at this point. I was really hoping for something over this side. We're just trying to do the like, shortest deliveries now. Okay, well there's still some slots from. So I guess we just go back to Lincopping. I really wish there was a way you could choose the routes you took. Get on with it. I was really hoping to be able to use this as an excuse to explore a bit more of these regions that I didn't Ready do the roll. first time around. But never mind. We'll just head back to Sweden. Where does the ferry go from here? Oh, all the way down to Travamund or something. Interesting. Would like to explore that little bit at some point, but maybe only with a better excuse. At least a lot of this Turn right. load time is going to be spent on the ferry. So it shouldn't actually take too long to do the delivery. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Exit now. Well, it's going to pop in here. It's still grey, and I do actually have a little bit of damage that I may as well get rid of. Area. We'll okay. discover that too while we're here. Let's find a new route. We'll just turn piss right off the GPS. And then turn left. Because we can. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Some stage I kind of want to fill out the map to a hundred percent again. Even though I've already got the achievement. I'm still not entirely sure whether you need to actually discover all of the depots particularly. Or whether it's just the roads. But a lot of the time the depots are useful for turning around in anyway, so just end up doing both naturally.
Not the most scenic countryside at the moment, but there's the coaster. Can see the sea. Looks like I've been to that gas station. Let's see if I can do a sneaky passing maneuver. I don't see anyone coming. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. I think we must be almost at the ferry now. Pretty quick drive up the coast. Vint spills or Vint spills. Who knows? All I know is that their roads are a bit more confusing than I feel that they have to be. But does one of those intersections really not go through to that other road? Do you really have to go all the way up here and then bend around? Turn right. Go Down straight to the dock. Nope, not this one. Next one. Do me intersections. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. More places I haven't been. Keep right. And then turn right. There's a little grey bit off to the left up here. Turn uh, that's right. That's a motel looks like. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, let's just drive through here quickly. Oh, and then there's the actual Polaris bit. That's not gone orange on the big map, only on the little one. I feel that's caught me out before. There we go. Not that it really matters hugely at the moment, but still every little bit we don't need to revisit Onto the boat we go. Yeah, eight I'll hours, thirty minutes. That's a lot of travel down there. Oh, this is a funky song. I like. Get ready to turn right. Two hours thirty-two, so that's like 
nine minutes. Turn right, and then turn right. Kind of don't mind these journeys that I just have to cross a ferry right. and do a little bit of driving either end. It's quicker than having to drive half the continent at least. Ideally I'll get three more deliveries, one way or another, from this session. Through here. <clears throat> it's just down the road, pretty much, isn't it? Once we get out onto the motorway. Itself, turn left. Turn left. Mostly it's only annoying because I just repaired, but oh well. I was speed running last Get night, so I've forgotten about driving with a trailer on it now. Turn left. I'm still going to cut this one there. Ah, 1% on the delivery that time. It's not worth it, but whatever. <laughs> Where's the fun and waiting? Need to go through my old VODs later and highlight and do some exporting. I know last time I was doing this I was pretty much half asleep. This time it's early morning instead of late night so... I may still be half asleep, but it's it's the half that's waking up as opposed to the half that's dozing off. Just moseying along in the countryside. Good for fuel, fine for rest. straight. Where's the turn off? Okay, let's wear this 
motorway meets an interchange, basically. Cool. So we're fine being in this lane for the foreseeable future. It was weird having a fighter jet there. Keep I'm right. Guessing then that exit it's right. like where Saab is made or something. Exit right. That's some strike though. <laughs> and that's with Bloom turned off. Roundabouts. Take the first exit. Exit now. Okay, can I have to slow down for this one? At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. Okay, now we'll be slightly more responsible. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. Keep right, and then turn right. I feel I want the next exit, actually. Because then I can just turn right straight into the place turn after the right. intersection. Rerouting. Oh, except now right. I have to wait for this guy. Then turn right. Turn right. I can't get past. Okay, fine, GPS knows best. Get ready to turn right. Oh, he's going down there. Okay. Well, is this one of the annoying ones where I have to back around the corner? I think it turn is. Turn right, and then turn right. Turn right. 
Finally, we are here. Yep. Okay. I don't think we can even go that way, can we? Oh, there is a gap there, but it's not a very big one. I can't believe there's only 40 XP for this particular one. Right, this is a 90 XP parking job, surely. So we basically have to just sneak it past the lamppost and then get my truck cab just past the concrete there. If I was just driving it around the corner forwards, then I'd agree it's only a 40. But the fact that I'm having to do this trigonometry feels a little bit more complicated. Straighten up a bit. Should just be straight back here, huh? Perfect. Okay, next. Still a few remaining from this place. Ah, oh, it's now ticked up to the full thousand. There was five left before. Oh well. And Ipsala's definitely done as well. Surely they could change it so that it would only give things that haven't been done? If I do the Stappinger one, I can just drive to Goldberg, take one ferry, take two fury and just go all the way there eh? rather than doing all this squiggly shit because I really don't care about the cost of the fairies all the time that it takes the more in-game time spent on the save the better realistically what are we waiting for I believe I'm still waiting for the achievement to pop on my turn right. employees. Get Maybe ready to turn ten right. male, ten female employees to be turn right. top rating. I think I'm still waiting for that. And there's literally nothing you can do to hasten it but waste time, so the more in-game time I waste, Go straight, the better. And then turn right. Turn right. Spending right. time taking facetious fairies is much better Here use of we time are. than just resting kind of on time. Turn right. Let's go. So let's check the map. Let's go there. Yeah, it tells me to go there. But why would I drive when I could take the boat direct? But yeah, that's a much quicker journey to get down there. Come on, there's a job to do. Turn right. Dude. Oops. 
Oops, there's a pole there. Well, maybe if there hadn't been a car, I wouldn't have had to go so wide. Go straight. Keep right, and then turn right. Now I have to turn right. Awkward. Turn right. Yeah, you better stop. I'm gonna guess that there's an invisible wall through there if I try and cut the corner more. But that'll do. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Exit now. Shaking really necessary. God, these are so skinny, these on ramps. At least I don't have the sun in my eyes for this section. Engine malfunction, it's only at 10%. Yeah. area. It's the other advantage with taking lots of ferries is that you get rest every single time. I kind of wish that the mirrors and GPS were defined by the camera view so you could preset it that they wouldn't exist in the other camera views. Kind of don't need them when you're in the third person. I don't need them even when I'm in cockpit view technically, but the right mirror is useful so I don't have to keep looking across. Can you 
can you get past, please? Stupid car. Then we have to brake because it was slowing down for a corner you don't have to slow down for. Another helicopter. Been a few of them. I think they're really wanting to show off the uh, low load trailers that they introduced recently. Shiny red ones. Sunset. Ah, the sun's gone down too much to get too many more of the light shafts through the trees. Let's let that guy change lanes. put a shoulder in or something. Ooh, it ends just in time. Does that mean we get the two lanes this time? Uh, it does. Ooh, and he only just moved into it in time. We're pretty close. Good. More like Gutberg. Huh. Got him.
And we should hopefully spend most of the night on the ferry. And then who knows how long on the next one to Stavanger. Go straight. just the ring road at this point, isn't it? I can. Good. Keep right. And just before the bridge. Exit right. That will be going under shortly. Let him go first. Sneak on by. Keep left and then turn left. Straight. On to the boat we go. Oh, not that one, this one. Turn right. At least I don't have to drive you all the way onto the boat. Yeah, it's only three hours across. Finding the route. The next one will be a little bit longer. Because, of course, there's no direct road that goes between those two cities. We have to go all the way around. Makes perfect sense.
have to take big ferry journeys the way back to, I think. <laughs> Unless we can get one just down the coast or something. Keep right, and then exit right. Exit right. Come on, guys, a little bit faster. We are meant to be up to speed by the time we merge here. down the shoulder I think because I assume we have to exit left again soon or do we just drive right out to town no exit right as well as what I meant to say and no we just drive Keep straight right. into town okay driving for this job, that's good. Just a little bit at the other end. I get the impression the next one I might not be get quite so lucky. Left. We're running out of convenience, kind of backing ourselves into a corner a bit by left. going so far up. Peninsula. Deep into Norway. Stavanger. All the way. Recomputing. Seriously, am I delivering just over here? Well, I'm just gonna go out this way then. Is this the right place? Am I supposed to go somewhere for? Um, I must be supposed to go somewhere first, day. Eh? Well, where's the actual, like a thing to tell me. Oh, there isn't one. That, that's that's just it. Which way? This way? I'm trying to figure out how they want me to park it. This is where having the mod is not great. The 
mod that I have that replaces things with those barriers or with these markers is not great in this respect. Am I meant to face this way? I think I'm meant to be facing the other way. I mean, there's both. Nope, that's it. Perfect. Good. Never mind, I'm a genius. It's fine. Now, where can we go from here? Gifts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and they all make me want to drive, or tell me to drive all the way down there first. Which is kind of amusing. And all of these places are finished. Aren't they? Yep. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping for something like from here to there, or from here to there even would be fine, but no. Got into it a bit late, realistically. I guess we may as well go to Odense in that case. Land distance, 489 kilometers. Actually, somewhat less once we factor in the different thing. And this is also from Polaris, which is where I right am now, so I don't even have to go anywhere. And then I can just go straight on the boat. Let's do this. Is the gift thing here somewhere? Yes, here it is. You've got the contract, now go. And no, I'm not going to drive all that way around. I'm just going to go straight in here. And go straight back the way I came. Rerouting. And now about a quarter of an hour down the road. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. And we just basically missed the entire day. <laughs> We're back to 10 o'clock at night now, after two ferry journeys of nine and a half hours each. Get ready to turn left. Basically spent an entire day on boats. Turn left. At least this will count as a from for Stavanger. Go straight.
Not sure what we'll do once we've finished this. Might just be in stream, to be honest. Might be a bit shorter than expected, depending on what the next delivery is like. We were originally down in France doing deliveries to nuclear places, I believe. And I also need to do deliveries to something else. Is it airports or something? There was a couple of France-based delivery Go straight. achievements that I was working towards. That's a long way from here. I can't remember if I even used the save game editor to set up um, particular routes, particular jobs, but if so, those will be long expired by now after doing all of these. Well, that's fine, I can set them up again. some Go random straight. piece of paper somewhere that has the names that I'm crossing off, I think. Maybe next delivery we'll just head down into France. Closer that way. It's also a few of the speed runs of this game that I was going to try and do some more of, but I need to set up a separate profile for that. I think ultimately, so I don't have to keep messing around with this one. And just rely on saved games. I can just uh, have a separate profile entirely using the saved game editor that you can use to set up deliveries for yourself. Uh, when it decrypts it, it gives you the ability to edit things like your money, for example, and your skills. So that way you can just immediately get yourself uh, the best truck possible. straight. The only problem with setting up a new profile specifically for speedrunning is you've got to discover the various areas ideally. in order to be able to just go between various places. You could probably just copy a saved game file across from one profile to another, come to think of it. That would be easy, wouldn't it? I assume that would work. Let's basically just make a clone. It is handy having a save where you've been literally everywhere. Well, every city anyway. Not quite every road, not yet. Most of them though. Go straight.
nearly at the bit that we turn off to go into Denmark. Well, we're in Denmark, go over into the peninsula. Yes. Almost. We go left, but to go left we have to go right. Go straight. Both lanes go ahead, good. Really wish there were more flyover intersections in this. Big interchanges where you can just go up and off to the left instead of having to do these tight turns. No, we're almost there. Almost there, there we go. Right turn up ahead. Gotta say, it feels so slow and yet we're actually speeding. If I was actually only doing 80 everywhere, that would be so tedious. Keep right. After the next delivery, that'll be the last external contract I need to do until the next event. Exit right. And then we can go back to speeding. Damn skinny off ramps. Turn left.
should have just gone around the outside. Oh well. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. It's all over now. Where do you want it? It's over the back. Okay. That, uh, no, it's not the markers there, is it? I think it's in between these two. Ooh. No, it is that one, isn't it? I hate it that the markers don't actually line up, or light up, rather. sharper angle on this. Okay, not too far now, but yeah, now we can definitely see that it's not one of the ones that we initially thought. Yeah, it's right next to that trailer. Straighten it up. Yeah, good. Cool. So now, yep, 14 out of 15. Let's see what's available. If there's a good one, we'll take it, and then we'll take a quick break. If there isn't a good one, then we'll just let it run. That. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> Mania. That's a bit of a longer trip. Ten minutes down the road, though. I was kind of hoping for one that was going a bit more towards France, to be honest. Maybe we'll wait. We'll just go back out to the menu and let it run. Those are real time based contracts, so. They should refresh every now and then. Might be different ones when we look again. Then it's gonna take a quick break for a few minutes.
And we're back. Oh, I should turn the preview off again, so... Not that the graphics card's doing too much of this game anyway, but... What contracts do I have now? Gifts. There's a couple of different ones. Still taking me completely the wrong direction, though. That's a bit of a shame. I wonder... Should I just take a normal delivery to somewhere that is lacking in the delivery departments? And then go from there instead? Let's see what's available. Yeah, the shortest ones are still to there instead. I mean, bottom line is that these are just the places that are more popular for deliveries anyway, isn't it? Oh, now there's more. Ah, but it's another one down to Romania. <laughs> oh, and it's somewhere that's actually finished in Romania too, just to add insult to injury. It does seem to refresh fairly frequently though. So maybe we just keep chopping and changing. And see how it changes. Oh, now there's only two available. Okay. <laughs> Am I just going to run out? Oh, well, now there's more again. Up to Frederickshaven. Or Groningen. Nope, that's done. <laughs> or Italy. <laughs> Palermo. Wow, okay. That's like the longest delivery I could probably do from here. Yeah, I don't fancy that. Okay, I guess we just drive back up to Frederickshaven. At least it's, you know, doing partial good. It's not completely completed yet. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, going the wrong way. This way. Up across town turn to pick right. up the trailer. Then turn left. Grab the trailer and man. go. And it's just 15 minutes or so on the road. Left. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Basically just retracing my steps though. I came from the ferry terminal next door rather than this one in particular, but
Would have been nice if it was daytime. There we go, misty fields instead. the hay bales back up and over the bridge. this going straight. I'm literally going right off the motorway. Okay, GPS, you do you. Send us three in the morning here, and yet it's still this light. How do people sleep around here? Fuel do I? Let me out. 900 kilometers worth left. Seems good. Hey, Atto. Go straight. Welcome, welcome. I didn't get an audio signal for the raid. That's a shame. I think Extreme Labs might be playing up. Welcome along, Kruger. Sunset. Sev. Hello, hello. It said it was only reading with two viewers, and that's three people. Come on, guys. Twitch, please. Oh, welcome. We're just chilling. Just driving through the Danish countryside at the moment. I should put my other mirror back up. Okay, now I can see what I'm doing. 
<laughs> Twitch get good, exactly. I don't even know how it works, that number out. How'd the runs go? I assume that's what you were doing. Get anything good? Or are we just having fun? Joker. Good one, last run, best run. Throw at the mountain. Stop throwing. Go straight. That's Boris's job. Managed to not get MVP out of ghost storage. Oof. That's a bit tricky. Can theoretically do glitchless strats at that point, but you know. Not really worth it. <laughs> I kind of miss when you know, you're starting out and you have times where you can actually save a run by doing something inventive. But once you get to that break point, whatever time it happens to be, if you get to a certain point that you can't save runs by just being clever anymore, you just have to kill it because it'll always be slower. It's kind of a shame. It's a good thing, but... I don't know. It's fun to be clever. <laughs> Had a few like that recently, where it's like, okay, I've made certain mistakes and thought, oh, well, if I do this, 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 and this instead, then I can, you know, make it work. It's like, yeah, if I do that, it's just going to be behind by like three minutes, so why bother? <laughs> Go straight. But sometimes I'll just do it anyway. It's more fun actually finishing things. Finishing things, we're about five minutes away from finishing this event, which is nice. Go straight. And the sun's coming up again at quarter to five, because of course. A number of things you can recover from, but that wasn't one of them, yeah. Yeah, I imagine you're kind of at the point that things like not one breathing mountain or nickel are fine. But yeah, a big oof like that. Not so much. Go straight. Trying to one breath mountain as much as you can. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's better if you can. There's a couple of brain coral you can make use of if you're running a little bit short that are less out of the way than going all the way up to the surface and back. I don't know, I still feel that if you get a... If the reason you're taking longer is because you've got a really good spire and you're just getting so many materials, then just popping up to the surface from where you build the mountain base because it's not as deep at that point at least to do the swapping over of things isn't that bad if it means you're not having to get any lithium at spars or something especially like if you get like a 10 2 10 3 spire or something so then you can just pick up full Keep lithium right. on your way down or up to maple then you know that's pretty good you're saving a lot of time on the next section and potentially at sparse, so... Yeah, it's hard to Exit know. Right. Starting to be a bit picky about shallows, yeah. Yeah, shallows is still the main thing I need to improve on. 
then after that point it's just hoping things go well basically. Oops. He says he's getting T-boned by a car. Oh well. I also need to figure out whether or not I even need to make two solar panels in the shallows. I think I probably do. It depends on how I do the crafting though. So if I can get rid of the deconstruct, because I do Aurora at that stage, you can do Aurora while it's night time to buy yourself a bit of extra time. Or like just while the sun is coming up so you don't need to worry about that awkward period where the solar panel's not getting as much sunlight so it doesn't regenerate as fast. Because once it's past like 15 minutes or so I think, Dual Fab doesn't drain the power too much. So you can just keep going at it. Because I'm usually aiming to leave around 16.30 or something. Which is, you know, sounds really late, but that's because I'm doing early dupe base and early um, Aurora, so it kind of works out. I'm going to drop this off and then go to the service station. Go straight. Still need to have to kind of start your crafting around 15 or so, yeah, but also crafting like one thing upstairs, yeah. Right. yeah it depends on how then much you're crafting right. at that point and say whether or not you're kind of turn doing right. things earlier that can help pad it. So the fact that I'm doing a few extra turn things left. earlier helps a little bit. We're here. Oops. I was meant to turn the left there. So the fact that I'm doing the dupe base when I am probably doesn't help in that regard because it's at the time that it's actually sunshine still, so I should actually be trying to get back to base. It's that or it's just rather than deconstructing the second panel, having enough materials just to make a third, I think. Is the other thing that's kind of useful. Okay, now where is it wanting me to park this thing? I can't see the things. I hate trying to park things at night because the markers don't light up. Okay, it's right here, next to this trailer. You're gonna head out? Fair enough. I'm probably not going to go much longer after this delivery. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for bringing people along for the ride. We're just going to yeah, repair. <laughs> so we're going to drop this load, repair the truck, and probably not much else. We'll go do some YouTube things. 15 out of 15. Complete. What was it you got again? Personal goal, get a Winter Blast paint job. Well, I like my paint job better, but we can just quickly jump onto World of Trucks, which should now recognize that I have completed that objective. Sign in. And the community objective's been met already, of course, because of course it has. It nope, still hasn't registered yet that I've actually completed it. Maybe they won't be actually giving out the things until when it concludes, which is the 17th of January. Oh well. Nope, oh, achievement unlocked, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Let's go back to that. Community rewards, there we go, your reward. Redeem. Success. Redeem. Success. 
Ooh, and then there's quite a few. Ooh, cabin decorations. Ooh, I do like those. Can't you just redeem all instead of having to do them one by one? Uh, there's like six things for each game, so that's like 12 things to just click through. And you have to click redeem on Steam and then sign in every single time. Well, at least it's quick. Cabin decoration. Sounds like fun. Well, we're going to a service station next, so we can take a look and see what they look like, at least even if we don't actually equip them. Redeem on Steam. Sign in. Now, was that the American or Europe ones? Those were the Europe ones. Okay, because I can leave redeeming the American ones. Let's just go take a look at these. Pop to the service station. Let's get this job done. Turn right, and then turn left. Turn left, and then keep right. Turn left, and then turn right. Turn right. No, I want to turn left. Here we are, safe and sound. Okay, first repair. There we go. And now, let's see what we've got. Big job. Where is it gone? Winter Blast. That one. That does look pretty sweet. And we can color it too, right? Well, no. <laughs> uh, maybe we make that one that instead for the stars. Now, which way around do we want this? Also, we need another custom color. Maybe we make that this instead. And then have that. That's pretty fabulous. Yeah, we'll go with that. And now let's take a look at the other stuff. Indoors things. So instead of this road roller, we should have something new is it like a Christmas bauble or something what was it actually called it was winter bauble cabin decoration unless that is not a hanging decoration I think it must not be. We've got Xmas Ball, but that's from a previous year. Heh, <laughs> Christmas Sock. Oh, that'll be it, Winter Bauble. There we go. And then, what have we got here? Winter Blast Gift, there we go. And then up here... Do the Rocket League car. We can have a wise owl. Well, that's pretty cute. Ooh, this is new. Huh, a little air freshener things. I like it. Kind of like the electric cooling box still the most out of this assortment. Ooh, pillows. Well, that's cool. There's the owl pillow. I like it. <laughs> Status pillow. <laughs> Game box. Nice. 
snow chill blanket truck bag so you need to be able to have multiple of these things so like you should be able to put a blanket down and then put things on top of the blanket you wouldn't just have a sleeping bag just rolling around like that that's um, irresponsible well we're gonna do that awesome Well, that's decorated things. Confirm. <laughs>